Hello friends, it's Intuitive Renee here bringing you your Friday Pick a Card. I hope you all have had an awesome week and I hope you've arrived at Friday with a huge big smile on your face. Um, it has been a very interesting week this week. We seem to have some really interesting energies floating around and uh, making themselves known to us. So this week for our Pick a Card, I have... Um, dug deep and sort of come up with what I think is going to be quite an interesting concept for us to work with and to go through today. So um, the theme or the concept or the question that we're asking today is how to find balance. Okay, finding balance is the key word of what we're working with today. So to do that, I have got quite the variety of decks, quite the variety of um, of cards that we're going to be working with. So to start off with, we're going to work with the awesome, the amazing Lightseer's Tarot, because I think it, it just, when it comes to finding balance, this is certainly a deck that can do that easily, simply, and uncomplicatedly. How's that for good English? So we're going to be using the Lightseer's Tarot to get that kind of inspiration. Um, then, because it's all about finding balance, so, you know, where are our scales? But finding balance or recognizing balance or having balance is about finding and having the balance within your light and your dark, okay, within your yin and your yang, your left and your right, your up and your down, all of those kind of opposites. So what I've done is I've chosen two oracle decks that I feel together give us that balance. And the first deck that I'm going to be using is this one, which is the Earth Magic um, Oracle cards, which is going to give us that grounding, solid uh, um, connection and uh, balance, if I can call it that. And then I'm going to be using the wisdom of the oracle to give us the opposite, to give us the understanding and the knowledge and the spiritual side of it. So I'm thinking that those two are going to work quite nicely together to give us that balance message. And then I want to finish off everything working with this deck, which is my I Am Power Oracle deck. Um, and it is affirmation. So hopefully once we have found our balance, we will use this deck to get an affirmation that we can use to contain, to, to maintain our balance that we have. So normally I give you the, the piles and I say to you, right, so, you know, center and connect and, and, and find looking at the cards and decide which bundle you want to do or uh, want to pick this week. And of course you can still do that, but I've added a charm this week, okay? So I just randomly chose three charms for each of the bundles and you can see it on the image when the image comes up on screen. So this week I really want you to, to focus on, on the bundle, focus on which one you're going to be choosing, which one you're going to be selecting. So I think... Um, what else do I need to say to you? I think that's all I need to say to you. I think also, yeah, for those of you who are finding my channel for the first time, so awesome to have you here. For those of you who are repeat visitors, it's even more awesome to have you here. Welcome and thank you so much for your love and support. I really do, really do appreciate it. Um, I'm quite blown away um, every week when I see how my YouTube channel is growing and it's like, oh, I get so excited. So thank you for all your love and support. If you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button. Um, it, it means the world to me and I just love the support from each one of you. Right, so let me stop babbling. Let me perform my magic. So on screen now <laughs> will be an image of the cards that are available to you. Here are your bundles and you can see the bundles laid out quite nicely and there is a charm on each one of the bundles. So you have the bundle that has, it's bundle one and it has the owl charm. Bundle two has got the park bench and bundle three has got the heart locket. So which one of those bundles is the one that really seems to be drawing you in? Are you drawn to the owl? Are you drawn to the park bench? Or are you drawn to the heart locket? Which of these bundles really seems to be calling you? And um, remember the whole theme today is finding balance. So do you feel like you're going to find balance with the owl? Do you feel you're going to find balance with the park bench? Or do you feel you're going to find balance with the heart locket? Okay, good. So you know exactly which is your bundle. You know exactly which is the one that's going to have the message, the answer, the inspiration that you need. So all you've got to do now, if you are on my blog, 
just below this video on the blog, you will see it'll be the different bundles listed there. And you can just click straight to go to that part of the video. You don't have to watch the whole thing. If you are on YouTube, if you open up the description box below, you'll see the timestamps there as well. So again, you don't have to, if you've chosen bundle two or bundle three, you can skip past bundle one. You don't have to watch them all. But of course, if you choose to watch them all and get a message from every single bundle, you are more than welcome to do so. All right, friends, I'm going to stop babbling and I'm going to get straight into it. So we shall see you at your bundle. Right, so welcome to those of you who chose bundle one or the little owl charm. I can't pick it up. The little owl charm that has the bundle the message that you need to hear so here is the little owl charm so if that was the one that you've chosen just so that it focuses if that was the bundle that you've chosen you have arrived at the right place so today we are focusing on finding balance uh, that is the concept that is the idea that is the question that we are working with today how do we find balance within ourselves so I've got a couple of questions that we're going to be going through we're going to go through them one by one and on the table in front of me I have a whole lot of different decks that we're going to be using to get this balance to find this balance so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to work with the light seers tarot um, to to get the balance to find out exactly where are we unbalanced where do we need balance what is it that we need to focus on so we'll work with the light seers tarot for that then once we've done that i've got two oracle decks and an affirmation deck that we will be using so you're certainly going to get a deep and hopefully meaningful message today all right so without further ado let's get straight into it so picking up the Light Seers Tarot, and I have shuffled this deck before I started. Um, I did shuffle and clear it and re-energize it and make sure that its intentions and re it was all ready for us. But you know me, I like to shuffle while I have your attention. I like to shuffle while I have you on screen. So today we are asking that the cards that we draw be exactly the cards that we need to hear. May the cards be the answers to helping us find our balance. Help the cards that will we draw today, may they be exactly the cards that give us the answers, the guidance, the inspiration, the love that we need to find balance in our lives in all ways for the good, the highest good of everybody watching right here and right now. We're never at baby because this is a timeless video. So it doesn't matter if you're watching it on the day it's published or if you're watching it a year later, it doesn't matter. May it be relevant to whoever is watching it whenever they watch. And so it is right. So we have got five questions to ask today. And because it's five questions, it's going to be very difficult to grab, you know, the cards. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the deck and draw five cards from the top. So I have shuffled. This is the deck laid out. So I'm just going to randomly grab from there, stick that bundle underneath. And now I'm going to take the cards straight off the top. So put it here in front of me and the first card. So because our theme, because our concept, our um, what we're working with today is how to find balance within our own lives, finding balance within ourselves, within our surroundings, within our life in general. So the first question we have to ask is before you can find balance, you have to find out why you have no balance. Why are you unbalanced? So the first question we have is what is holding you back? Right here, right now, in your life, what is holding you back? And the first card we have is the Hermit. So the Hermit is the card of solitude. The Hermit is the card of being on your own. It's about being introspection, introspective. It's about not relying on anybody else, not needing anybody else, not wanting anybody else. So it's the card of feeling like you have to do everything on your own, that you have to rely on yourself. You have to, you can't be relying on anybody else. So remember the question here we were asking is what is holding you back? What is holding you back is your, is your feeling, the emotion that, that tells you that you have to do everything on your own. So you, you are an independent person. You are somebody who's quite independently strong and who doesn't want to take help easily from other people. You feel like you have to do it all on your own. And that is holding you back. So maybe there are people around you who are offering guidance, who are offering help, who are offering assistance in one way, shape or form. And maybe you've been a little bit hesitant to say yes, please and thank you. Okay, and, and this is exactly what the message is here for you. The message here for you is that in order for you to succeed, in order for you to find balance in your life, you don't have to do everything on your own. 
So remember, what is balance? Balance is about, you know, opposites, finding equal amounts of opposites so that we have happiness, joy, and success, okay? Trying to do everything on your own, trying to be so independent is not going to bring you balance. Finding balance or having balance is about recognizing when you need to be independent, when you need to be self-sufficient, and when is it a good time to ask other people or to allow other people to help you. So for all of you who chose this particular bundle, it's telling you now what is holding you back, the fact that you're trying to do everything on your own, the fact that you are trying to be so independent is holding you back from having balance, having happiness, joy, and peace in your life. So I'm going to leave that one on the table here because you've got a lot of questions to get through today. The next question, what resources are available to help you find balance? And the card we have is the Nine of Cups. I know I say this about a lot of cards, forgive me, but I really do love this card. I really do love the image on this card. The fact that her heart is just bursting, the fact that there's this light, it looks like it's coming out of her chest cavity and all of these singing bowls are sort of just bursting um, and, and just flowing out. Look at this chest over here that it is overflowing. So the Nine of Cups is about overwhelming emotion. It is about having an abundance of joy, of happiness, of success. Of I mean, this whole card is just gold. You know, it really is. It's just everything that's magical and beautiful. Remember, the question we, we hear for this one is what resources are available to help you? And it is an abundance of emotion, an abundance of joy, an abundance of success. And it's also pride. OK, pride is an emotion. Pride is a resource. So recognize what is holding you back is the fact that you're trying to do everything on your own. What resources are available to help you is an abundance of emotion. So recognize that for, in order for you to find balance in your life, you need to dig deep into your happiness, into your into your treasure, treasure chest of happiness and bring that resource out. Celebrate and acknowledge all your successes. Celebrate and acknowledge everything that you have already succeeded, everything that you've already done well. Celebrate and acknowledge those and welcome them back into your life, okay? It is a resource. Emotion is a resource. Emotion is something that can help you and it can also hinder you. It can also hold you back. And in this particular case, the Nine of Cups is telling you to set that emotion free, okay? Release that emotion. Release that joy. Release that happiness. Be confident and proud in all that you have achieved and know that you have done well. And that is a resource that can certainly help you to let others in so that you don't have to do everything on your own. Awesome. I like that. Okay. So now we're going to go into our next question. And the next question is how to fully love yourself. Because you know what? If you don't have self-love, and it's not about being vain. It's not about being full of yourself. It's not about all those negative self-love. It's just about recognizing that who you are, how you are, what you are, who you are right now is enough and, and being okay with that and loving that side of yourself, recognizing who you are and being okay with that, loving you as you are right now. So how do you fully love the self? Here we have the five of cups. And if you look at that card, total disinterest, total like, ugh, I'm not interested. Okay. So there she sits at the end of a edge of a pool and she's just letting, I'm going to call it the life juices. She's just letting the life juices just sort of, she's tipping it with her foot and she's just letting it flow into the abyss. She's not really focused. She's not really worried. She's got another cup here behind her. So she's now being disappointed at all of these cups, but she doesn't realize that there is another one there. But she's given up. She's given up her, she's lost her passion, okay? She's lost her excitement, she's lost her joy, she's lost her passion. So how do you fully love yourself? By well, first of all, stop being so disinterested in yourself. Take a little bit more attention, pay a little bit more attention to yourself, okay? If you haven't been, you know, a lot of us are working from home, so we're not going into an office like we used to do pre-COVID. So what's happening now is, is we're not getting dressed up, okay? We're not doing our hair and makeup. We're not putting on the nice clothes. We're not dressing appropriately, which means we're starting to lose interest in our own self. And when we lose interest in our own self, we don't love ourselves enough. So then our self-confidence slowly starts dropping. We start slowly but surely feeling like we're alone and nobody wants to be with us instead of thinking you're amazing and fabulous, which you are, <laughs> okay? So how do you love yourself more? By paying yourself more attention and to and stop being so disinterested in yourself, okay? 
Right, this is really getting quite interesting, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so our next question. What needs immediate change? What do you need to change immediately in order to find balance in your life? Control is the answer. What needs immediate change? Control. So either you are holding on too tightly to control, and that's what this card was telling us as well. You're holding on too tightly to control, or you need to get in control. And that's also what this card was telling you. And again, it's about the balance. So remember our whole exercise here, the whole objective of today's pick a card is to find balance in your life. And this card, the emperor is basically saying to you, because he he doesn't operate from a place of emotion. He doesn't, he doesn't think about people's feelings. He doesn't consider people's feelings. He makes decisions based on logic. He makes his decisions based on what's right and what's wrong. He bases his decisions on how best to achieve a particular outcome without considering the emotions. And that's what you have to do. Okay? So what needs to change in your life at the moment? The decision-making process needs to be non-emotional. You need to take control of your life, take control of your circumstances, and not be feeling so disinterested. Okay? So that needs immediate change in your life. And our last question, because now we've looked at where you're at, what you're dealing with, where you're going, how do you love yourself, what needs to change. The last question that we're asking here is, what have you got to look forward to? So if you work on finding this balance in your life, if you work on finding this balance, what do you have to look forward to? Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords, you can see he's running. There's movement, there's change, there's action. It, it's happening quickly, okay? So if you take the advice given in today's reading, if you take everything that I've just said to you now, just know that you're going to find that balance and things are going to happen quite quickly in your life. Change will happen quite quickly. Things will get moving quite quickly. The challenges and disappointments, I want to find the card, the, the challenges and disappointments that you're currently experiencing will be a thing of the past. Things will change and improve incredibly quickly. And before you know it, you'll be in a very, very different space. All right. So those are our five questions on how to find balance. So now I want to turn to the Oracle decks to see. And remember, I've got two Oracle decks. So the first Oracle deck that I'm using is the Earth Magic Oracle deck. So this is going to give us our grounding energy, our grounding earth kind of energy. So we're asking here from this deck now, what else do we need to know in order to find balance? What is the grounding kind of energy that we need, the earth energy that we need in order to find balance in our life? Let's see what we get from this deck. I'm just going to draw one card from the oracle. So earthbound kind of energy. I love it. I love it dance and celebration and you know what let me show you that one dance and celebration <laughs> dance and celebration i love it so that is something physical that you can do to find balance in your life to spend a bit of time celebrating what you've achieved who you are you're here and you're now don't worry about yesterday don't worry about tomorrow worry about today worry about here and now spend some time dancing spend some time celebrating life and spend some time just i want to say naked feet on mother earth there's something magical about naked feet on Mother Earth. Absolutely. Okay. Now the next deck is the wisdom of the oracle. So this is going to give us our, I'm going to call it the opposite. So we've had the earth energy. Now we're going to get the, the upper spiritual energy. So again, to find balance in our life, how do we balance the dance celebration? What energies do we need to focus on to find that balance within our lives? Let's see what we get. Just taking one. I love that. New life. So the message of the new life is saying to you to get excited about a new life, get excited about change. And you know what? I want to bring back that one. What have you got to look forward to? Things evolving, changing, and moving quite quickly. If you focus and pay attention to finding balance in your life, if you celebrate life as you know it now, if you celebrate and dance and live life, you will be bringing forward a brand new life for yourself, a life that you possibly can't even begin to imagine right now, but one that you deserve and one that absolutely is a possibility for you. I love that. But it all starts with dance. It all starts with celebrating life. And friends, to finish it off, one last deck. And this is the I Am Power affirmation cards. 
So we want an affirmation that we can use. We want an affirmation that we can hold on to, that we can focus on to help us find balance. So over the next couple of days, as we're going through life and we're looking for the balance, what, what can we remind ourselves? What do we need to be focusing on to find that balance? Let's see what we get from these cards. They're quite slippery. So I'm just going to do that and let's just take, there's a lot of them as well card that I have drawn for you is I am motivated. He's motivated. He really is motivated. He is, and even to dance is motivation. Even to get excited about this new life, it's all about motivation. So over the next couple of days, as you work on finding your balance, just keep reminding yourself, I am motivated. I am motivated. I am motivated. You are motivated. And I hope this message gives you the motivation that you need. So friends, that is your how to find balance in your life right now. I hope that that message really spoke to your heart and soul. And I hope that it just makes you feel like you've got this. I hope it makes you feel as if everything's going to be okay because it really is. Change is coming. But in order for change to come, you have to take control. Don't feel like you have to do everything on your own. Don't feel like you were the only person that can do the job or do the work or do the stuff. Let people in. Share in the celebrations. Share in the success. Share in the happiness. Don't allow yourself to be so demotivated and so uninspired. Okay? You need to be focusing on making, taking control and making decisions based on facts and figures. Know that things are going to change really quickly and there will be improvements for you. With love and blessings from my heart to yours. Until we meet again, you take care. And welcome to those of you who chose bundle two or the bundle that has the park bench charm as the bundle that has the message you need to hear today. Welcome. The little park bench is so cute. It's even got the little heart pillow on it. You see that? It's so cute. I really do love it. You see it there. Cuteness. Okay, so you have chosen the park bench or bundle two as the bundle that has the message you need to hear today. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we're asking the question about finding balance in your life. Where are you at right now? What is it that you're dealing with? What is it that you're going through? And what do you need to do to find balance in your life? So when we talk about balance, we're talking about all areas, okay? We're not just talking about a single part or a single aspect. We're looking at the whole life. All, all different aspects of you. And the way that we're going to do this today is I've got five questions written down that we're going to answer, that we're going to work through. And I'm going to be using the Lightseer's Tarot for that. I've got two Oracle decks and an Affirmation deck as well that we will look at afterwards. But let's get straight into it because we've got a lot to cover today. So we're looking at finding the balance. And as I'm shuffling this deck and throwing them on the table, let me just pick those up. <laughs> As I'm shuffling this deck, we're asking that the cards that we draw today be exactly the cards that we need to get the message of guidance, the message of hope, the message of inspiration that every single one of you watching right now needs to hear. So this is a timeless video. In other words, it doesn't matter if you're watching it on the day that it was released or if you're watching it six months later or a year later. Whenever you are drawn to this video, whenever you find this video, may the message that you get today be appropriate, be valid, and be exactly what you need. Okay, um, today we're asking about finding balance and the questions that we're asking, um, may they give us the guidance exactly that we need right now. All right, so I have shuffled enough. So we have got five questions that we are asking. So because I need five cards, um, it's going to be quite a challenge to draw them, you know, as I normally do. So today I'm just going to split the deck in half and I'm going to draw the cards straight off the top. So we're just going to so there's all the cards shuffled, and I'm just going to separate it over there, put that underneath. So all the cards that I'm going to be drawing now are going to come straight off the top. So I'm just going to put this on the table. And the first question that I'm asking today is, what is holding you back in regards to finding balance in your life? Why do you not have balance in your life? What is holding you back from having balance? What is holding you back and stopping you from having the balance in your life? And we have the Ten of Wands. And you can see, I love the Ten of Wands card because in this particular one, you can see that this young girl and her ox, I don't know what it is, <laughs> have walked a long journey, okay? They've been busy for days and days. She's carrying 
everything that she possesses, everything that is important to her is unpacked on the horse, packed on the ox. She's got a suitcase, she's got a stick, she's got all the clothing on, and they've been going for days. So they are tired. The sun is starting to set. The, 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 it's the end of another day, and they're not anywhere near their destination. So this is the card of feeling exhausted of feeling like you're just never going to get to where you need to be. This is the card of feeling like, you know, it's just a never-ending cycle. So what is holding you back from having balance in your life? Exhaustion, okay? Feeling like you're on a treadmill, feeling like it's just a never-ending cycle. So that is what you are going through at the moment, that in one way, shape, or form, this is the kind of energy that you're feeling at the moment. And it's because of this energy that you don't have balance in your life. All right, so I'm going to leave that card on the table here as we go into the next question and I will refer back to it. The next question that we want to ask is what resources are available to you to help you find balance in your life? And the card that we've drawn is the Empress. So the Empress is all about creation, she's all about nurture, she's all about pregnant belly and about to give birth. She's all about about to to about to give birth to something brand new, unknown um, I want to say unexpected, but she knows she's pregnant. <laughs> so, but the Empress is all about giving birth to something brand new, not necessarily knowing exactly what it's going to amount to or what it's going to become or what's going to happen, but having a basic concept of trusting, trusting and believing in the process, trusting and believing in the natural process of circumstances. So what resources are available to you? You know what, I'm going to interpret this. Remember the whole concept here today is finding balance. So you have something within you, okay? You have an idea, a concept, a strategy, a something within you that could help you find balance, but it hasn't come out yet, okay? So that is how I am reading this card today. That is how I am interpreting the Empress card. So the resources that are available to you are here within yourself. You've just got to identify them and you've got to help them release, help them out, okay, in order for you to find a balance in your life. So that's quite interesting. Our next question is how do you fully love the self? And the reason why I brought this question and the reason why I'm including this in our finding balance is because I don't believe you can find balance in your life if you don't have love for the self. So it's not about being vain, egotistical, arrogant, or any of those kind of emotions. It's not about that at all. It's just about acceptance of the self, recognizing that who you are is perfect, recognizing that who you are is amazing, and being okay with that, okay? Recognizing your shortfalls, recognizing where you do fall short, but also recognizing your strengths. So how do you fully love yourself? I love that. So the Two of Cups is about partnership. The Two of Cups is about two individuals coming together and connecting as one. So remember the question is all about finding balance. What do you need to do to find balance in your life? Where do you find, how do you have balance in your life? And the Two of Cups with our question is how to fully love thyself is recognizing that you are enough. You don't need anybody else. You don't need a partner. You don't need somebody else to validate your existence. You have to recognize that you on your own, or your own best partner, your own best self, and that you are perfect exactly as you are right now. I like that. I actually think that's part awesome, <laughs> even if I say so myself. All right, so I want to just bring you back. What is holding you back from having balance in your life? What is holding you back from having happiness and success is the fact that you are exhausted. You obviously have been on a long journey. Whatever it is that you're going through, you've been doing that for quite some time, okay? So the challenges have been there for a long time, and they are wearing you thin, wearing you down, okay? Um, what resources are available to help you? You are your own best resource, and you have everything that you need to have the happiness, joy, and success that you deserve. Okay, how do you fully love the self by recognizing that you have the skills, the knowledge, the inspiration, the guidance, everything. You've got it all, but you've got to recognize that you don't need anything more. You know what, there's some of us, and I'm including myself in this, there's some of us who are forever wanting to learn, who are forever working on self trying to improve the self and to be a better person and to learn more about their chosen career path or whatever it is. And there comes a time in life where we have to just acknowledge and accept that 
we are enough, we have enough, we have achieved enough. And I think maybe this is where you're at, is, is recognizing that um, all that you have achieved and all that you are right now is enough. Learn to be okay with that. Learn to be okay with who you are right now. Right now, you are perfect. Now leave that one there. Next question. In order to find balance, in order for us to, to have this perfect idyllic existence in our life, to have balance in all areas, what is the one thing that needs to change right now in your life? So right here, right now in your life, what is the one thing that needs to change? Here we have the Hierophant. You can't look at this card and not smile. You can't look at this card and not feel something within your heart and soul. The Hierophant is about simplicity. The Hierophant is about religion, belief systems, understanding. But about, I'm going to call it simple belief systems, simple understanding. It's not about overcomplicating things. It's not about who's got the most and who's got the least and who does more and who does less. It's not about that. It's just about being so okay with yourself, understanding your reason for existence and being comfortable with that. So what is the one thing that needs to change in your life right now? You have to get into the moment. You have to get into the now, not in the past, not in the future. You need to get into the now. You need to find joy in the now. So whatever it is that you're doing in life, whatever it is that you're doing right now, find joy in that moment, okay? It doesn't matter if it's 10 o'clock at night, 10 o'clock in the morning, when you first wake up, middle of the day. It doesn't matter if it's a Monday, a Friday, a Sunday. It doesn't matter. Whatever you're doing, whenever you're doing it, find blissful joy, blissful happiness in that moment. That is the one thing that you need to focus on. That is the one aspect of yourself that needs to change immediately in order for you to find balance in your life. Okay. So it doesn't matter what you do. Don't ever complicate things. All right. Keep things simple. But keep things honest, keep things truthful, and keep things, again, I'm going to use the same word I've said now a couple of times, joyful. Find blissful joy, simplicity in everything that you do. Don't overcomplicate it. That is the one thing that has to change in your life right now in order for you to find the balance that you are searching for. And our last question, <laughs> what do you have to look forward to in your future? I love it. You've got the lover's card. So the lover's card is about, again, it's, it's almost the same as this card. Okay. I mean, just look at them. Just look at them. So the lover's card is, what do you have to look forward to? You have to look forward to finding your opposite, your equal, your yin to your yang, your dark to your light, your good to your bad, all of that. You have balance. What do you have to look forward to if you take the advice given in this reading for you today? You have a life of balance to look forward to, a life of bliss, a life of happiness, of joy. But understand that this is also your choice. Understand that you are in control of this. You are the only one who can change the situation. Nobody's going to do it for you. It all comes down to you. So what is holding you back right now in your life? What is preventing you from this balance, this blissful joy and happiness is your exhaustion. So you need to take a little bit of time out. You need to be a mindful and aware of your exhaustion, of the way that you feel. What resources do you have available to you right now? We have the Empress, which means everything that you need to find balance is within yourself. What, how do you fully learn how to love yourself? By recognizing that you are enough by recognizing that you have everything that you need and that everything is perfect in your world and you are perfect. What needs to change immediately in your life is simplicity. Find simple pleasures. Do things simply. Don't overcomplicate things because overcomplicating is what's got you here. Overcomplicating and, and struggling through everything is what's got you here. This is where you want to be. And having that will bring you this. And how awesome is that? That is balance. That is happy. That is joyful. That is awesome. All right. So we're not done. <laughs> Don't run away. So what I now have is two oracle decks. This first oracle deck is, is um, Earth Magic Oracle. And um, 
I chose this deck because it, it is quite a grounding deck. It's, it's going to help us connect to our earth, to our physical. And while I'm shuffling, what we're asking here is what grounding earth energy do we need to be mindful of? Do we need to know about? What do we need to work with in order to have balance in that physical area of our life? So in what way, what does the oracle need us to know? How do we be balanced in our physical? How do we be balanced in our connection to Mother Earth? Um, and then the other deck we'll look at will give us the opposite. So how from this particular deck right now, we want to know how do we have balance? What is the one thing the oracle needs us to know in order for us to have balance in our life? And we're just going to draw one card from here, taking that one over there. Oh, wow. We chose the tree which is grounding and it is the back of the card it is the deck itself so the tree and you know what i love I, i'm a tree hugger i'm one of those people i love the trees i want to hug the trees I'm, I'm all for the trees and the reason why i have such a strong connection and affinity with trees is because trees stand through any weather okay yes sometimes they get a bit battered and bruised but they stand their roots connect them to mother earth their roots sustain and help others create infrastructure for other ecosystems, animals, plants, whatever it may be. They give shade, they give fruit, they are, so to me, like the tree is the everything, all right? And the grounding, look how the roots go deep into the earth, and once the roots are deep into the earth, you know, that is what anchors them and keeps them stable. So I'm going to say to you, to all of you today who chose, by the way, park bench, you need to go to the park barefoot under the trees connect to mother earth that is how you're going to find your balance so let's let's complete that now because that's like really grounding excuse the pun <laughs> grounding energy this is the wisdom of the oracle deck so this is going to give us our i'm going to call it emotional mental spiritual side how do we find the balance Wade, what do we need to know to have the balance on the opposites? We've got the grounding energy of the tree. And um, what is the wisdom of the oracle? How is it going to help us to find balance? What is the opposite to our tree grounding energy? Let's see what we get. I'm quite excited. Taking that one over there. I love this. So we have card number eight, which is the tribe, and it's about recognizing who your people are. It's about, so when you go to the tree and you go to spend some time in nature, recognize who your people are and only spend time with your people. And you know what? I think this is, this is a huge part of where we lose balance in our life, because if you don't know who your tribe are, if you don't know who your people are, who, who make you happy, who keep you grounded, who keep you safe, who keep you secure, who keep you where you need to be if you are with the wrong tribe you're never going to be happy you're never going to be happy so recognize who your tribe are spend more time with your tribe out in nature enjoying the tree and being grounded oh i like that all right so i am now picking up the next deck and our last deck and this is the i am power affirmation cards so basically while i'm shuffling this what we're wanting is a single affirmation that we can use over the next couple of days to keep us grounded, to keep us working on our balance, and to help us find the balance, the strength within ourselves to achieve all these things that we need to achieve. Let's see what we get. This deck is quite a difficult one to, to work with because there's so many cards. Oh, I love this. Oh, I love this. I am present. So friends, this is exactly what you need to be reminding yourself of for the next couple of days. Just any time you feel a little bit stressed, if you find your anxiety getting too large, getting too high, getting too strong, if you find yourself panicking, worrying, anxious, whatever the emotion is, good or bad, keep reminding yourself, I am present. I am present. And you need to be present with the tree because the tree will ground you, will connect you to Mother Earth, as well as connect you to the heavens. You need to be present with your tribe. I love this. Let's start at the beginning. What is holding you back? Your stress, your exhaustion, your anxiety. It's been a long, complicated road. It's been difficult. It's been hard. You are mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually exhausted. 
but be present. The reason why I want to bring the be present into this card is because what we can't see here is just outside, just beyond this road, if she just walks a little bit more, is her destination. So she is so close. She is so close. So she just needs to be present and not give up on that. Remember what resources are available to help you. Everything is there within you. You are about to give birth to the resources that are going to help you find the balance. But you have to be present. I'm loving this. How do you fully love yourself? By being present, by recognizing who you are. Recognizing the strength, the power, and the assertiveness, and everything that you have got going for yourself. What needs to change immediately? You need to be simple. Simplicity is the answer. And you don't get simpler than I am present. And finally, what to look forward to? I just, I, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to add anything to that. So friends, for those of you who chose the gorgeous little park bench, that is quite a powerful message for you. I hope it connects, I hope it resonates, and I hope it makes sense. Until we meet again, from my heart to yours, you take care. And a very warm welcome to those of you who chose bundle three or the heart locket as the bundle that has the message that you need to hear today. So today we are focusing on finding balance in our life. And this little heart locket is just the cutest thing. It's even got the little, the little key as well um, so that you can unlock the heart and have whatever you need to have. I like it. So today we are looking at how to find balance in your life. We're going to look at where you don't have balance, what do you need to do to have balance, and what can you look forward to once you have found the balance in your life. And to do that today, I have written down five questions that we're going to work through, and we're going to use the awesome and the amazing Lightseer's Tarot to answer the five questions. And once we've done that, I have two oracle decks on the table as well as an affirmation deck that we will be using as well towards the end. So let's get straight into it. So the concept and the idea today is finding balance because, you know, without balance in our life, we can't be happy, we can't be healthy, we can't be okay, we can't be successful, and we can't be full of joy. So, and we want all of those things. We want to be happy, we want to be healthy, successful, and full of joy in our lives. So, as I'm shuffling the cards, we're asking that the cards that we draw today be exactly the cards that we need to give us the answers that we are looking for to give us the guidance on how to find balance in our life and the answers to the questions that Renee has prepared. So we're asking that the cards give us, and, and this is timeless, in other words, if you're watching this video on the day it was published, that's great, let it be relevant for you then. If you're watching this video in six months' time or a year's time or whenever it is, any time in the future that you are found watching this video, let the cards be relevant to you at that time. Let the cards give you the guidance and the inspiration that you need. Okay, so the cards have been shuffled quite a lot. Because we are asking five questions, um, I need five cards. So it's going to be, instead of drawing the cards the way I normally do, I'm going to split the deck now, we're going to cut the deck, and I'm just going to draw the card straight off the top once we have cut the deck. So just going to grab there, I'm going to stick those underneath, and now we'll be working straight off the top. So as I said, we've got five questions that I want to ask, and we're going to use the tarot to answer those questions. And the first question is, what is holding you back in your life at the moment. So why is it that you don't have balance in your life? What is happening in your life at the moment that is holding you back and preventing you from having balance? And here we have the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is a very interesting card because she she's also, you can see the sun setting, she's got a, a fire on the top of her wand already. Um, she's come to a little obstacle in the road, a little fence if we can call it that, and she's exhausted. She's like, oh, I just can't deal with another challenge. So she's feeling fatigued. She's feeling exhausted. She's feeling like she doesn't have the energy to carry on another step. She's just like, I'm just going to stop. Okay, I just need I just need to rest. You, you know that feeling when we, we feel quite overwhelmed and we feel quite, quite concerned. It's like, you know, can everybody just go away and leave me alone? That's how she's feeling. And that is what is holding you back from being balanced in your life. 
Okay, so this is what spirit is saying to us. Spirit is saying that you don't have balance in life at the moment because it's just too much. It's just too much. So we understand that. We can recognize that. We can we can completely resonate with that. So let's see. I'm going to leave that card on the table here in front of me. My next question is what resources are available to you right now to help you find balance in your life? And look at her just standing there balancing in all her glory. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> all right. So Lightseer's Tarot is saying the resource that is available to you right here, right now, to help you find balance in your life is the Page of Pentacles energy. So what I like about Page energy, Page energy is quite uh, self-assured. Page energy is, is somebody who is, you know, they, they think they've got the answers. They're quite themselves. They're quite confident in knowledge. They might not have too much practical experience. They might not fully know how to implement or how to carry it through, but they're quite confident in themselves. And look at her. She is quite confident as she's standing there. She's almost like she's hovering above the ground. And she's quite confident in herself. She knows that she stands out from the crowd. She knows that she's a little bit peculiar, a little bit different from the norm, but she's okay with that. So remember the question we were asking here is what resources are available to you to help you find balance. And I think it's the resource of uniqueness. That's what I'm getting from this particular card. Recognizing that you aren't the same as everybody else. Recognizing that you do things a little bit differently. You think a little bit differently. You behave a little bit differently. And that is your speciality. That is what makes you unique. That is what makes you special. And that is something that you need to be celebrating. That's something that you need to be working with. Okay? So remember... What is holding you back from having balance in your life is this feeling of exhaustion, this feeling of like, I don't want to get, I don't want to do this anymore. But you need to recognize that your uniqueness is what makes you stand out from the crowd. The way that you approach things, the way that you perceive things, the way that you understand things is slightly different from anybody else's. And that is something to be acknowledged and celebrated. So stop trying to fit in because maybe that's what got you here. OK, stop trying to fit and stop trying to be like everybody else. Recognize that you are uniquely different. Recognize that you are truly special and that that's OK. All right. You don't want to conform. You don't want to be the same as everybody else. All right. The next question is how what can you do to fully love yourself? So the reason why I put this question in here is because if we don't have self-love and it's not about being vain, it's not about being egotistical it's not about being arrogant it's just about accepting and loving yourself for who you are at a practical level okay so how what do you need to do to fully love and embrace yourself i love this so the emperor the emperor is all about control and dominance the emperor is all about um, making decisions based on facts and figures and not on emotions. So the question is how to fully love yourself. What do you need to do to fully accept yourself and love yourself and see yourself for who you are? And it's very interesting how it, it, it blends in so nicely with that card as well. So the emperor is saying to you that you need to you need to be honest with yourself. OK, you need to be completely honest with yourself. You need to stop fooling yourself. You need to say, you know what? I am amazing. I am wonderful, I am strong, I am brave, and I'm courageous. I am perfect exactly as I am. I don't need anybody else's validation. I am so confident. So I, I know I said about loving self is not about being arrogant, but actually, actually, <laughs> can we be just a little bit arrogant? And you, I think you, you can be a little bit arrogant because you've got the skills. You've got the skills. You know what to do. You know how to handle your circumstances. You know how to handle your situations, okay? And and those that skill, that knowledge of how to handle your circumstances and your situations is a resource that you can rely on, that you can use. But you do have to be a little bit arrogant. So I'm going to say to you, if people, if you're feeling like people are walking all over you, if you're feeling in life that, you know what, you just give and give and give and you never get anything back, the emperor is telling you, Put a full stop at the end of the sentence. Stop doing that. Stop giving so much of yourself. Stop being emotional. It's time to put the emotions aside and to be more logical, to be more confident, to be more in control, and to be more assertive. Okay? So we're not arrogant. We're just assertive. That is your word. How do you love yourself more? How do you practice more self-love? By being more in control, being more assertive, and being more 
comfortable with who you truly are. And recognizing that you're a little bit different, recognizing that, you know, you don't really conform, and that is actually quite great. All right, next question. In order for us to find balance, now we've already uncovered a couple of truths here, but in order for us to find balance in our life, what needs to change in your life right now? Okay, what is the one thing that needs to change in your life right now? Immediately, and here we have the magician energy. I love the magician energy. Just look at that energy coming off the hands and into the water and sort of spiraling and, and going through. Magician is all about recognizing that you have everything that you need to achieve the outcomes that you want. I'm going to say that again. Magician energy is about having everything that you need to achieve everything that you want everything that you deserve, everything that you're working towards. So the question here is what needs to change in your life immediately? And I think it's about recognizing that you are enough, recognizing that you have enough, that you, you know, there's a lot of times in life where we are constantly working towards something. We feel like, okay, I, I'm, I'm, I will be happy when I have A, B, and C, when I have achieved X, Y, and Z, when I have accomplished all these things. And the magician energy here is telling you that the time is now. The time is now. Be strong, be bold, be confident, know who you are, be comfortable in your own skin, recognizing that you are different and that is okay, and recognizing right here and right now that you have everything that you need to be happy, to have balance in your life. Can you see how that energy is balanced? Can you see that? Okay. So right here and right now, the thing that needs to change is your outlook, your perception, the way that you look at yourself, the way that you perceive yourself. And you need to realize that you have everything that you need right here and right now to be happy. And remember to have the balance in our life. Okay, our last question. Question five, what do you have to look forward to? So if you work, if you take the advice of this reading, if you work on everything that's been given to you now, um, and you find balance in your life, what do you have to look forward to? What is going to work well for you? And here we have the moon. I love the moon energy. So there's a couple of things that jump at me about the moon card. I always interpret it differently every time I see it, but it's different aspects of it that sort of jump out at me. So the moon, to me, in this particular card, is talking about things being different above surface to being below surface. But it's also about recognizing that we can have calm at the top. Everything can be cool, calm, and collected, but there can be chaos happening under the waters. So this is what do you have to look forward to. And I think it's about going deep. I think it's about recognizing that there's so much more to you, to your life. There's so much more to who you are. And if you found balance in your life, you would be releasing almost iceberg mentality, okay, where what you see at the top is just a fraction of what's actually there. So for you, here in the now, what do you have to look forward to? Also, the moon is about cycles. Every 28 days, the moon goes through its cycles, and it constantly, it's a stop, it's a new cycle. It's a guarantee. It's going to happen. So what do you have to look forward to is changing the cycles, going from one cycle into another cycle. But the focus is not here on this, on the superficial. The focus is here on everything that is under the, under the surface, under the water. And that's where the magic lies. That is where the magic lies. Okay. So, friends, let's do a quick recap of that because that was quite quite a big one. So, what is blocking you and holding you back from having balance in your life? This feeling of, I just can't do this anymore. I'm tired. I'm fed up. I don't want to do it anymore. Almost, I want to say, throwing a temper tantrum. <laughs> okay? So, that is what is holding you back, your exhaustion, this feeling of, like, I just don't want to do it anymore. What resources are available to help you? The fact that you are different, the fact that you are unique, the fact that you look at things differently, you perceive things differently, that you behave differently, that is definitely something to be celebrated and acknowledged. How do you fully embrace and love yourself? By recognizing your strengths, by leaving emotions out of the situation, by not allowing yourself to get emotional, especially when it comes to making decisions, especially when it comes to deciding on who, what, when, and how. You want to make those decisions based on facts and not based on emotions. What needs to change immediately in your life is the fact that you need to realize that you have everything that you need to be happy and to have the balance in your life that you need. And what do you have to look forward to? A whole lot more. <laughs>
that's just the simplest way of putting it a whole lot more okay right so i'm leaving those on the table in front of me i'm now picking up our first oracle deck and this is the earth magic oracle deck so I've picked this deck, um, the, the two oracle decks I've chosen is because I do feel as if they are on opposite ends. So obviously earth magic is very earth energy, very grounding, very physical energy. And the other one I've chosen is the wisdom of the oracle, which will give us the, I'm going to call it the spiritual enlightenment kind of energy, because it's all about finding balance. So from these two decks, or from, let's just focus on this one for now, from this earth magic deck, what does spirit, I'm throwing them on the floor or on the table, what does spirit want us to know? What is that kind of earth energy magic that we need to be aware of to have balance in our life? What is the message that the oracle has for us today? Okay, let's grab one. So we're just grabbing one from each of these two decks. I like it. Wolf Instinct. So, you know, that is, wolves run on instinct. They live on instinct. They don't overthink things. They're not big on planning. They're not big on strategy. They are, and are, where's my, where's my emperor? Emperor, he's also, he's also about instinct. He's also about, at the time, when we need to make the decisions, we base the decision then and there on the facts and the figures we have available then and there. I also want to bring in the magician card here because the magician is also saying to you right here and right now you have everything that you need so wolf energy instinct energy is saying to you that right here and right now you are perfect right here and right now you have everything that you need everything at your disposal everything is actually quite pretty okay all right you you have to believe in yourself because the wolf knows his strength he knows his capabilities he's not going to chase an animal if he's hungry he's not going to chase an animal he knows he's not able to catch he knows his restrictions he knows his limitations and he's comfortable with that to work within that uh, um, within that realm okay so let's now see the wisdom of the oracle and to see it's the wisdom of the oracle deck and let's see how it wants to find balance with our instinct so how is the wisdom of the oracle going to balance our instinct our wolf energy instinct um what is the wisdom of the oracle want us to know and how is it going to bring us balance in our life especially when it comes to our natural instincts i like that let's see what we get so again just going to draw one card that one over there looks good to me so very interesting we got the fork in the road and again i'm going to put these two together so wolf energy is about instincts fork in the road is about don't worry about the fork in the road until such time as you get there okay don't be concerned about it don't overthink it don't like oh what am i going to do if and when i get to a fork in the road no 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 don't do that worry about it only when it actually happens so you're going to need to learn how to trust your instincts when the fork in the road happens if and when it ever happens at that time because remember magician energy telling you that you have everything that you need to achieve whatever you need to okay so whatever decisions you need to make when you reach the fork in the road you will have the information you will have enough to be able to make the decision without emotions okay so how do we find balance in our life by trusting our instincts by trusting that we will that we have it all, that, that we are capable of achieving happiness and success and recognize that when we get to that fork in the road, we will be able to make the right decisions. But we don't have to worry about it until we get there. Okay, awesome. So the last thing that we need to do, this is my I am power affirmation cards. It is quite a chunky deck. So we want to know from spirit, we want an affirmation that we can use over the next couple of days. So we're looking for an affirmation that we can repeat to ourselves over and over and over again to remind us on how to find balance in our life, to remind us of everything that has been covered here today. What is the affirmation that's going to help us to be balanced, to have happiness, joy and success? Um, let's see what we get. Okay, so let's, they are quite slippery, these cards. Um, so just to, I'm going to hold it like that and I'm going to take that one over there. How oh, I love it. You are. You are. You are. You are. <laughs> All right. So, friends, the message from Spirit for you today, this is an affirmation that you can repeat to yourself over and over and over again. Whenever you're feeling overwhelmed, whenever you're feeling like it's, it's getting too much, whenever you're feeling, where's my card? Whenever you're feeling like you just don't want to, okay? 
Whenever you're feeling like the fork in the road, I don't know what to do, I don't know where to go. When you're feeling like your instincts are just wrong and all over the place and not where they need to be, please constantly remind yourself that you are strong. And just say it, I am strong. I am strong. I am strong. You understand? You are. Okay. So friends, such an important, awesome, fabulous message. I hope I hope that this reading helps you to find balance in your life and I hope it gives you the guidance and the inspiration that you need. From my heart to yours, until we meet again, you take care.